Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and today I'm going to be reviewing Just a Cup by Axel Hecklau. Before we do that, can you please like and subscribe? Check out cardmagiccourse.com. That's my online card magic course. That is what sponsors this whole thing, kind of, because it's mine anyway, so it's not a real sponsor, but you know what I mean. Um, that's what keeps the whole thing going. So learn from me. If you like this, you'll love that. Hundreds of videos, all made by me from 2013 right up to now and still adding stuff weekly and monthly to the course with all the live sessions and everything. Uh, so check out what you get. People are amazed when they have a look at it. Carmagiccourse.com and get your carmagiccourse.com forward slash cull. Go there to get your free spread cull course, a whole course on the spread cull, which is the best moving card magic you can have for nothing. Have it. There you go. And it's not a rubbish giveaway. That's a proper meaty course you got there. Uh, so have a look at that. Right. This is nearly 10 years old, this. Um, but, you know, I, oh, it, it, we, it's such a shame we have that mentality, isn't it? We all do. As human beings, the newer is better. And we forget that there's some game-changing stuff came out. Uh, over the last you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 years that we just kind of forget about because we get so swamped with the new stuff. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> and that's why I want to review it. So if you're, if you're new to the game or you haven't been to loads of conventions or you know, if, you're not, if you don't know your sort of creators, there's nothing wrong with that. Axel Hecklau is one of those people that everything he makes is brilliant. I think he's one of the best magic creators there is. He doesn't make hundreds and hundreds of things. He's not churning out stuff, you know, every month. But when he does make stuff, you know it's going to be good. There's a kind of trust there. And when he was, I was kind of in looking at his stuff, you know, walking around and this was out. I remember people talking about it at Blackpool. I wasn't really on the market for that sort of thing. I, was do, I did a cups and balls, so it wasn't really everybody talking about this thing, just a cup, and then the, the spoon trick he, he did, and then there's the Rubik's Cube stuff, and I'm going to review a lot of it, I think, because I think it really needs to be seen. And if I'm responsible in any way for introducing or reintroducing this stuff to people and getting us to think again about this stuff, I, I think um, this sort of my job is done, as it were. So do we? This, it, so it says on the thing... This is not a chop cup, but it's a chop cup routine. It's, it's, uh, it's, and I'll we'll say why it says that in a minute. Um, if you are new to the game, a chop cup routine is a cup and a ball. The ball keeps vanishing. The classic way of doing it, where do you think the ball is in the pocket or under the cup? And it arrives where you don't think it is. It's not under the cup and then it is under the cup, etc., etc. It's a great routine. Wonderful. I love it to be. So just kick my light. It was so good. Um, and, uh, you know, I love the cups and balls. I've been a cups and balls performer for 20 or 20 years pretty much so it's not that we need another one that's no good but when there's an elegant solution and this is really elegant it needs to be looked at i don't do the chop cup that much in close-up because it's carrying the thing around and and it doesn't fit with a lot of ideas and don't worry if i get into, if i can do it as a performance piece it's great and but it it, it sort of makes it way into my close-up when i've kind of run out of material and i've got another 20 minutes to do this is going straight in, and I've been thinking about why. I think there's something, and I'm quite happy with props that don't look normal. It's fine, but there's something really nice about that. That's all it is. All right, there's not two of them. There's not. It's just that they can look at it, they can take it, they can play with it, they can do what they want with it. I'm not saying you gild the lily with that and kind of keep handing it out, but there is a bit where you go right, have a look at it. it it's really, really magical. So the routine is. There's a dice in a cup. The, the dice ends up where you wouldn't expect it. It vanishes from, from inside the cup. It, it ends up on one bit in their hand. So they've got, they've got the thing in their hand and they feel the dice arrive. There's, a bit, there's loads you can do with it where they kind of almost feel the dice vanish or they, they can see that you've got nothing in either hand and nothing in there. It's just so, so fair. And that's that kind of gain that you get. It feels like a marginal game, but it's quite a profound one where... There literally is nothing hidden. And what I like about this as well is that even though you've got the, the, the streamlined elegance of it, because of that, you can improvise with it really easily. There's kind of, it's all really intuitive. So you can make that 
dice vanish and come back just on the fly and go on. I think I'll do that now because that'd be good to do that. So you get the book and the DVD and you get all the ideas in that, you know, every, all the moves, all different ways, different ways of showing your hands empty, but he also gives you the routine. And the routine, by the way, you know, there's there's two performance of this routine in the in the DVD that you get with it. One of them is at the Magic Castle, and he has he does perform all this stuff. You know, most of his stuff, he's been in FISM, he won FISM with his Rubik's Cube routine. You know, he, 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 this is all his working stuff as well. He performs weekly um, at a venue in Berlin. So, he, you know, this isn't stuff he's created for creators. This stuff he does and puts work into and brings it out. But he, he's got the Magic Castle performance of this on it, but he's also got a wonderful performance in a studio with a spectator. And the, the reactions... Are absolutely brilliant just so I was just beaming watching this and smiling and laughing when I mean, you've got a lay person just responding in those ways that you know they're going to and they're responding because they can see how fair it is so you are yes you do get the brilliant responses from the normal chop cup and all that but there's something so clean about this which makes it a joy to perform I think it is a real game changer this I think if you like this kind of routine I think you'll get a lot out of it, and I don't think anybody's going to get this and go, "Oh, is that, it's it's just so good." As in, I mean, I did Axel Heckler's routine um, um, news flash, sorry, the, the the paper tear. And that was my introduction to him, and that was I did it on stage quite a lot, and it was just again, it's just a click, it's just bang, it's just there. It's like the extreme burn of newspaper tears. It just arrives it's incredible and all this i'm really looking forward to reviewing his other stuff and introducing um, it all to you so that is just the cup um and like i said it's not a chop cup because it feels very different but it it's a kind of a chop cup routine please use the links below have a look it's not they're not affiliate links or anything like that but you know i'm very lucky to to get this stuff to get these people to support me so so do have a look at the stuff have a look at all of axel's stuff and do the usual like and subscribe and, and share if you like this. Uh, but suffice to say, I think this is absolutely brilliant. And incidentally, this is going straight in my show. Not just my close-up, my show. And it's without a doubt going in my close-up. And that's the kind of, it, it's just there. It's, it's, and that, that is kind of valuable to me, very valuable. So, uh, so like, yeah, like and subscribe, check out carlmagicals.com, get your free spread card download, carlmagicals.com forward slash carl, and, uh, and have a great one. Take care. Cheers.